So, <clears throat> Betsy, the reason why I interrupted you a bit is to say, look, we did this for three years. You're telling me that you're going to come back with yet another proposal that we've told you we want to do for a specific period of time. What trust am I supposed to have in staff that you're not going to come back after five years and say, oh, and by the way, your accelerator is not able to run on the basis that you've told me it would run on, and therefore, five years down the road, I have to yet make this decision on another program from your mm -hmm. department. The original accelerator program, as you saw it, and I completely understand where you're coming from, was a program where the Loveland Development Fund was requesting that the city fund a staff position uh, for a period of five years with an amount up to but not to exceed $750,000 in a total contribution um, with the city's contribution not directly going to the development fund but actually staying with the city um, to employ that person. Uh, much like uh, the relationship that we have with this position, the Office for Creative Sector Development, with this time frame. This request that I'm anticipating will come to you uh, in the future will not be um, similar in nature. It'll strictly be a financial commitment for a period of time. It will not be a city employee. Um, so it looks very different uh, from the original proposal. Right. I'm making right. the point that you've said this before, and it is the same thing. Because what you said was you wanted the money for Marcy's position to begin the Office of Creative Sector Development. Council was very clear with you. We said, these are the things you need to do. These are the things you said you would do. And now we come back and we find out that you were being asked to continue the position, mm -hmm. even though one of the really important metrics wasn't even started on. Okay. So when you tell me, too, that we're not making any dollars, you know, that was our, our charge to you kind of when you created this department, was we don't need to see that budget go up. Remember when you brought that up and you said, oh, we're going to create this department, and you kind of did it out of whole cloth, and then we said, well, what are the impacts? And you said they were neutral, that you weren't, cre you weren't adding any FTE. Opportunity for comments? Go ahead, Hugh, and then, then Phil, and then Ralph. Um, and, and my only comment is, is what I said before, you know, this... This was delivered to us as, a, as something that we needed to decide. And unlike Joan, um, you know, I do look at, at experiments as having um, both results. And if you tell me it's a period of time, it damn well better be a period of time. Um, because we did say three years. We didn't say that Marcy was going to be you know, in the public stocks at the end of three years if she didn't hit her numbers. But we did say three years. We did say self-funding. One of my big concerns, I guess, when we come along is you hit some big roadblocks in how to fund this. We should have known. And, and that's, that's probably a function of the commission and their reporting to staff and staff somehow filtering that information back to us. But that's, that's not Marcy's job, and it wasn't Marcy's job. That was the job of her commission. That was the job of the subcommittee in that commission. If they failed at their job, then somebody should have known. You know, it goes back to what you hear from me say time and time again, which is, you know, at some point the brakeman on the train needs to say we've got a problem. And if this is a problem in this program and we come back to this day and we say, damn it, you know, we did this and we did this, but we didn't do this, and that's a piece of the bigger puzzle, because that's really where it comes down to for me is I, I do think we need to come back and look at the overall, the overarching responsibilities that we've given economic development, take a look at where this fits. Because that's a piece of it. Tech transfer is a piece of it. The accelerator is a piece of it. Whether or not your funding source comes from somewhere else, it's a piece of it. And so when, when we talk about the money for accelerator, how is that going to look, where is it going to come out of the budget, even though we don't sit down with our 11 C's every day and, and start playing around with the numbers, we do think in the big picture of how much money is this department getting as an increase. And this is an increase. So, you know, when I go back to it, I need to be able to evaluate what, the, what, what other things are being traded off mm -hmm. in, in terms of that. Um, I will tell you, Marcy, your... your um, Influence is spread far and wide. I spend a lot of time at the airport. 
and uh, the girl from Moxie Glass <coughs> was taking apart her display the other day, and I stopped to tell her how much I love her glass. It's just neat stuff. And the girl from DIA was there, and, and I said, you know, I haven't seen your stuff from Moxie Glass. Where are you from? Fort Collins. Why aren't you at Art in the Park? Because, my God, that would be a great place for you to market your glass. And the girl standing there, she said, Art in the Park, that's Loveland. She goes, is Marcy going to do something here again this year? So, you know, I, I can tell you, there's, your work is being appreciated, and it's doing its job. So I have no qualms about that. I have qualms about where we started, where we are, and where we go. But, um, you know, I think that's a, a great story to tell. And, Josh, I've been in Santa Fe a lot, and I'm glad you're here. So, um, you know, I think there are real tangible things that we do. But boy, I think we've got to step back a little bit. Because if this council is going to have any ability in the future to say we do something and this is the structure we're putting in place and this is the, these are our expectations, I think we have to have a harder discussion than just to say, I think we've done good things and let's just keep doing it ad infinitum. 